Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, and we are on day 2,242 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, it's a pleasure to have you join me on this journey through the timeless wisdom of the Bible. As we navigate life's twists and turns, we find the guidance that we need in the eternal pages of Scripture. Today we're delving into Proverbs chapter 15, verses 1-7 through 7 from the New Living Translation, which offers profound insights to enrich our daily lives. So lace up your hiking boots, and let's trek the trails of the wisdom of Proverbs. Let's start with verse 1. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. This verse reminds us that the power of words in diffusing or escalating conflicts. A gentle response can calm anger, while harsh words can fan the flames of rage. So what's the solution to this problem of escalating anger? We need to practice gentle responses. Choose to respond with gentleness and humility, even in the face of anger. By doing so, you can prevent a situation from spiraling out of control and foster understanding. Now verse 2 offers some intriguing perspective on knowledge. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, but the mouth of the fool belches out foolishness. This verse highlights the role of wisdom in making knowledge attractive and the contrast of foolishness spewing out nonsensical words. What can we learn from this verse? We need to communicate with wisdom. Let your words be a conduit of wisdom and understanding. Present knowledge in an appealing way and avoid spouting senseless words. Now verse 3 emphasizes God's omnipresence. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eye both on the evil and the good. This verse serves as a reminder of God's constant vigilance as he watches over both the wicked and the righteous. How can we apply these truths to our lives? We need to live in awareness of God's presence, recognize that God is ever watchful, and let this awareness guide our choices and actions. Live a life that acknowledges His presence in all circumstances. Now let's explore verse 4. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. This verse underscores the life-giving quality of gentle words, which provides nourishment to the soul. In contrast, deceitful words crushes the spirit, leading to a sense of desolation. So what's the solution here? Well, we need to nurture the gentle words. Speak words that uplift and nourish the spirit. Avoid deceit and falsehood, as they can have detrimental impact on the emotional and spiritual well-being of others. As we look at verse 5, it emphasizes the importance of truth. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Whoever learns from correction is wise. This verse speaks the value of learning from correction and discipline, contrasting it with the folly of despising parental guidance. How can we apply this wisdom in our lives? We need to embrace correction and discipline. Be open to learning from correction, whether it comes from your parents, your mentors, or life experiences. Wisdom is born from the willingness to grow through guidance and discipline. Now verse 6 underscores the importance of integrity. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked bring them trouble. This verse highlights a correlation between righteousness and prosperity. It suggests that the house of the righteous will be filled with great treasure, while the income of the wicked just leads them to trouble. What's our key takeaway from this verse? Well, we need to pursue righteousness or right living. Strive to live a life of integrity and righteousness. It is the path that leads to true prosperity, where your treasure is not just material, but also spiritual. Now let's explore verse 7. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. This verse underscores the difference between the wisdom of the wise and the emptiness of a fool. The wise offer valuable advice, the wise offer valuable advice while the heart of the fool is devoid of it. How can we apply this wisdom to our lives? We need to daily seek wise counsel. Surround yourself with wise individuals who can provide good advice. The counsel of the wise is a valuable resource in making sound decisions and living a life of wisdom. And there you have it, my friends, a profound exploration of Proverbs chapter 15, verses 1 through 7 from the New Living Translation. These verses offer us timeless wisdom for living a life aligned with the principles of the Bible. As we continue on our journey through the pages of the Bible, 
Remember that the wisdom it offers is our guiding light in navigating the complexities of life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom and make it a part of your daily trek. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.